All right, guys, first uh, fiasco, not really. First thing that didn't work was the hot water heater. So we have hot water. I'm gonna bring you guys inside. This is the Airstream Sport 22 2018 with an Atwood hot water heater. Sorry, the lights are off. Uh, and it's not very bright in here. There we go, there's some light. So, when I test things, I test for the cheapest thing that could fail first, which is fuses normally, so, or the switch. So, switch is there. That's got a little indicator laid on it. I'm not gonna turn it on now because I know my propane's off, so. Series of events is water's on, fill up the tank, propane's on, which is not on right now, and then you flip the switch. That switch is gonna try three times to ignite. If it doesn't ignite, it's gonna shut off and go into like limp mode or default mode. Then you have to basically troubleshoot it and figure out what's wrong. Sometimes it's an air leak, sometimes it's a, or a get our air block in the propane. Sometimes it's the electric is not getting um, the proper electricity to it, which should be over 10 volts in order to everything to work. I've tested all that. I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. Kelsey. It's gonna hold the camera for me. One of the best tools you can have with anything, anything that deals with electricity is a multimeter. This is about 80 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below. Klein tools, you gotta learn how to use it. So one feature I'm gonna use right now to test, uh, to make sure there's continuity, which means there's a wire that's connected between two things and that wire is actually working, uh, is that little symbol right there. And with this model, you gotta push it twice um, and then it basically, three times. When I connect the two wires together like that, it's gonna beep and make a noise. So let's go in here. There's stuff everywhere. So what, I don't know why that was good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test circuit number five which is on here, it says circuit number five is the, um, where is it right there? Fan monitor, water heater, basically it's shared. So we're gonna go on the two top panel, the two top testing points right there. So it's a 15 amp. That's beeping, that means it's getting voltage, which is good. Beep and all, and all of my circuit breakers are in the correct position which they're on currently. So that's good. So those are the two cheapest things to test. The next cheapest thing out there in this, I'm gonna show you the hot water heater itself, is the other fuse on there. So there's two more other fuses on there. So let's go look at that. So this is an Atwood. Atwood model G6A-8. AE, they pretty much all work the same. So if you get in here with the camera, and let me hold the camera. So we have a pressure relief valve. So if it gets too hot, the thermal expansion will pop that, make that go. We have propane coming in, a solenoid. So basically this is just a glorified valve. Uh, electricity powers that valve open. This lets air in. Air goes and air mixes with the gas into here. This is a sparker and this is your circuit board. So, like I said, for testing things that could go wrong, it's always it, start with the cheapest things first because those are the things that are made to break first. Things like circuit boards, which would be this device right here, I'll show you. Have extra fail safes and they have extra devices to protect itself. So. There's another fuse right here, and we're gonna check continuity for this fuse right here. So this is just a little, um, basically if this thing overheats and explodes, it blows this out, shuts down the propane circuit right here. That way you don't explode in the middle of the night or whenever you least expect it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to test that. We're gonna unplug that. Unplug that. And then we're gonna do the same thing. That should have beeped, there it is. That's beeping, that's good. That means it's actually working properly. 
This is dielectric grease, so it's grease that allows electricity to flow through it. It's meant to protect water from getting into things and keeping water basically out. Or having like corroded circuits, you're better off brushing it off, but this is going to help me make sure this circuit's actually working properly. Oof. Just a little dab of that. Some circuits will actually say don't use dielectric grease because it'll actually short itself out. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to put that back into there. And we're going to put that back on there. Actually, we're going to test it one more time and put it back in. And we can do that by testing through the back here making sure we have a good connection, which we do. We also want to make sure all these terminals are, are tight, along with this one. And then there's a 2 amp fuse right here. We can test those two points to make sure that that's accurate. We can also pull it out, which I don't really have the best leverage right there, but you can pull it out and it'll be a complete circuit in, the, in, the, in there. So if that doesn't work, and this is fine, we've determined that it's the circuit board. And so now we're gonna replace that circuit board real quick. It's about $100 off Amazon. I'll put the link below. Uh, there is an old revision, there is a new revision of it. So we now have the new revision of it. So we're gonna make sure all our circuits are off and our propane's off and we're gonna replace that real quick. Test to make sure this works as well. So there's a little circuit in there. That's beeping. So that's the sparker piece, just like the one on your grill. Most of you don't deal with, and you're going to unplug that. And then you're going to kind of guess what size that is. It is not that size. Put those right there so you don't lose them. So that's the defective part. So this is the new part. And it does look a little bit different because it is a different version. This one's made in Ohio, it looks like. Made in the USA, what are the chances of that? So basically the same concept, two amp fuse. We're gonna put that back in the same kind of order. Tighten those up, but not too tight. We're gonna plug this back in. And that's a little, a little tight, so we're gonna unwind that. That'll give us a little more slack here. And then we're gonna plug that back in. I'm gonna pull that boot back, stick that on there, and then push that on there. And so we know our water tank is full because I can pull that and basically water will come out of there. Which is good. So... Time to test? Yeah, time to test. I'm going to make that. Turn the propane on. Made this little divider thing. Make sure it's selected to the, the correct tank. It's currently this tank, so I turn that tank on. Okay. I know my water's on, which is good. And then we're gonna come in here, I'm gonna turn the switch on. Do you wanna go watch it and shoot this over there? Yeah. Easier to have someone help you turn the fuse, turn the switch on, so it's gonna go cycle three times. If not, if it doesn't work. Uh, but it should just cycle once and it should just fire right up. So, bang in the glass. There she goes. She have a nice, nice flame in there, and you can adjust it with this. Um, 
Everything seems to be working. That should heat up my water. That should heat up my water, finally. Um, that was done under warranty, luckily. You gotta have the right tools to do this kind of stuff, so I brought a uh, socket set with me. The multimeter and uh, wrenches and some other stuff. So that just saved lots of time, lots of money. They're dealing with the warranty part of it, about getting, it's like a $160 part from the dealer or 300 bucks, depending on which they want to charge you. So that's gonna stay lit. We're gonna let that run all the way till it heats all the way up the, well, the water all the way. And make sure you guys subscribe and like this video because I looked at everybody else's video and this was the only one, only problem that I found was the circuit board. Everything else was really easy fix. They just replaced the simple easy parts. Uh, the first solution from the service tech was to clean out the spider webs. We'd used it the day before. They came moving quick, but that had to be a tarantula to really create an issue. Uh, so this was not sparking, which means it's a circuit board issue or it's in some other fail safe mode, which it was not. So that's it. She wanted a high five for some reason. Well, you're supposed to like put it there and we can high five and be excited that we fixed it here. Like this? No, you put it down. Video. Okay. Set an angle. Let's jump up. Okay, high five. Hot water's going. What?